Well, um, as like you said, this started with an aggravated assault call. So what we're learning is that it happened on 83rd Avenue and Indian School Road. And we're told that the victim of that aggravated assault was held at gunpoint. So now behind me, uh, police were able to then follow the suspect here to this neighborhood near 91st Avenue in Glendale. So the street you're seeing where it's turning into, that is Pepper Tree Lane. And we are told that this is where an officer involved shooting happened. I actually spoke with a woman just moments ago who says that she lives at the house that police are at right now. She tells me that she rents out her casita to a woman and her boyfriend. And she says that police were here for that man. She had no idea. Uh, she says she that her daughter, who is still with investigators right now in her early 20s, is the one who probably had seen the shooting go along. So investigators are speaking with her daughter right now. She's shaken up. Uh, she went back inside just to check on her daughter. Um, says that she might be right back to see she's still up for talking. Uh, but she said that's what she heard. She just heard a lot of noise, and it turned out to be that police were heading to her home. Now, on her way here on Glendale Avenue, we did see that there was a tape on the other side of the wall, which is a brick wall on the street and here dividing the neighborhood and the main street. Uh, we saw two units out there, and we saw the caution tape. So we're asking to see exactly how that comes into play. But here, the police are staying put. We're we're actually still, again, waiting for the public information officer to come speak with us. Now, he just came to the scene a couple of minutes ago telling us we actually have to move somewhere else to go do the interview with him because this area has become very congested. This is a neighborhood street, so there are cars lined up on other side, investigators, media, and just people who live here. So they're asking us to move to a different spot to get more information. But right now, that is what I'm gathering out here. Again, the woman tells me that she rented her casita to to a woman and her boyfriend, and then that is the suspect that police came out here for. The latest from police we know is that that suspect is not outstanding, so we're hoping to ask more questions as to exactly what that means. But this is gonna be in tra impacting traffic in the area for a little while longer. We're gonna keep you posted as soon as we learn more about this, and then just how things are starting to clear up at the scene. But for now, I'm sending it back to you guys.